measures metrics and indicators these are the three things we will be talking you know and they are quite close to each other measure the measure is map measurement is map now okay let me tell you the measure it provides a quantitative indication that is we are talking about a number so measure will give you a number a value so this will give you a quantitative indication of what is the extent what is the amount what is the dimension what is the capacity or the size of certain attribute or a property of a product or a process i hope you got the idea this measure will give us a number of various aspect of certain attribute of a product or a process so these attributes can be multiple like the completeness like the efficiency like the reliability like the availability so these are what i have spoken are also the quality attribute now the measurement is the act is the work of determining a measure what is metrics now i triply gave a very good definition for metric this metric is a quantitative measure of the degree so here degree has come a quantitative measure of the degree to which the system or a component or a process possesses a certain attribute for example take the example of reliability now this is an attribute of any product or a software so the quantitative measure of the degree to which the system so just understand we are talking about a system or a component or a process now it can be anything so this reliability in that system or a component what is quantity measure of the degree to which this attribute is present in that component so this matrix relates the individual measure in some way okay when we are attending or we are collecting a single data point let me take an example of a software component now we need to test it there are certain errors will be uncovered so when we take a number in a single software component these numbers of error has come we have established a measure what is a measurement this is the one one data point we have just uh, collected but now let us move to more data points or more collection points more way of collecting so same component when we are able to do it in multiple ways for example we have same component we are doing the reviews say the technical review and then this can be done multiple times or say unit test we are doing so the number of component reviews and the number of unit test now we are having multiple data points and this is also we are using to collect the measures of the number of errors for each so here we have two data points previously it was one data point okay so when we establish the measure then we go to multiple data points in order to collect more data and this becomes a measurement when we have multiple data points it becomes measurement so a software metric relates the individual measures in some way how do we relate for example we found some certain errors so the er errors found per review and what is the average of these errors that is the number of error per review what is the average value of this errors per review is a metric or the number of errors per unit test what is the average rate this is a metric okay now indicator indicator is when we take a matrix or or you can say combination of this matrix that provides us with the insight into a software processes or a software project so indicator will indicate through certain combination of values 
and this indicator is why we are calling it as an indicate indicator because it is going to indicate the software team for example this of project manager or a software engineer that this is the indication this is what you are getting this is the number and on the basis of this for example 4 is there you need 2 5 is there you need 3 so now the project manager can adjust the process and project on the basis of these indicators